<laughs> now, tomorrow is the final Saturday of the Football League season. It's hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Normally a time of afraid nerves and numerous ifs and maybes. But for our sides, well, it's all done and dusted, isn't it? So uh, David's here to tell us the verdict or your thoughts on the verdict of the last nine months. Not great, is it? Not great at all. It's the most disappointing season here in the West that I can remember. It's rare we don't have a promotion playoff final at Wembley to report on. But this season has been notable for two relegations. Swindon Town's fate was sealed at Sheffield Wednesday 11 days ago. Their form really fell away in the new year and new manager Paul Hart was unable to make any impression at all. A handful of their most loyal fans will make their way to Tranmere tomorrow for the final game of a season to forget. It's been a season to forget for Swindon, but at least their final game in League One gave them something to smile about. Les L Jean-Francois hit the opener after just ten minutes. Les Parry, who expects to sort out his future with Tranmere in the coming days, admitted his side weren't at the races. Lucas Aikins and Dale Jennings both squandered the chance to level the scores. The future of Swindon's manager is yet to be decided too. Caretaker boss Paul Bowden's already thrown his hat into the ring. His chances can't have been harmed with this win, sealed in spectacular fashion by Michael Timlin. Now, Swindon, they're also going down, and it's not surprising given that they got just two victories in their last 24 league games. Les Seigneurs, Jean-Francois with the first one, Michael Timlin with the second, but exactly like the gas, they need to get a new manager in place as soon as possible. So that's how it finishes in League One. Potentially, three teams going up at one end, but down at the other, three teams going down. Bristol Rovers, Plymouth and Swindon, best of luck to them, trying to get back up. Leroy, put a... Positive spin on that for us? Well, it's funny how things happening in, in a group, like those southwest teams that you know, are going down. Now, if they can start operating at the top of League Two, you'll, honestly, I, I promise you, the juices will start flowing for the fans again. They'll, they'll forget about it and, and there'll be a real lift. So the key is, you know, the start of the season, have a good start of the season, you know, operate around the top of the season and all the excitement will start to come back for those supporters. It's almost worth going down just to be able to get promoted. If you could guarantee that, it is. Because I'll tell you what, you get better crowds when you're doing all right. And so if, it's, I hope that happens next year. All right, nice one. Chantlier were looking to end their campaign with a third straight league win, something they last achieved in April 2009. But relegated Swindon had other ideas. Indeed, the Robins went ahead with only 10 minutes on the clock. The Haiti international, Lexinel Jean-Francois, claimed his first ever Football League goal. Chantlier were again without their injured player of the year, Enoch Shawatmi, and he was sorely missed. After Lucas Aiken saw his effort saved, Dale Jennings somehow managed to miss the target with a goal at his mercy. The visitors soon threatened to increase their lead. Tony Warner just about dealt with Nathan Thompson's shot, but the veteran keeper then produced an outstanding save to keep out Elliot Benyon's volley. Still, there was little Warner could do when Michael Timlin did make it 2-0 seven minutes before half-time. The midfielder found the net with a glorious strike to score his first goal since back in November. Tranmere nearly halved their deficit in the second half. Aikens headed wide after Aaron Cresswell had struck the post. Rovers had scored seven goals in their previous two games but couldn't find a way back into this one, despite Adam McGurk's best efforts. Indeed, Matt Ritchie almost made it 3-0 before full-time. It's been a season to forget for Swindon, but at least they ended their disappointing campaign with a win.